Hey there, this is MP Lum from TeamMP.net, the Parents Playground. Um, today I wanted to talk about fathers because uh, my father means the world to me and because my husband is such a wonderful father. Um, yes, that is admiration you hear in my voice. Um, anyway, I think fathers don't always get to feel as important as they should. I'm a total daddy's girl. Um, I always remember waiting for my daddy to get home from work when I was little. Um, I was always so happy when I saw his truck driving up. He was always really dirty though because he owned his own construction business. And I remember how much I hated his whiskers. Like when he kissed me on the cheek, I could feel it scratching on my face and I used to hate that. But regardless, I loved hugging him when he came home and he always gave me a stick of gum. He always had either juicy fruit or spearmint. Um, after he got home in the spring or summer, he was always right back out working in the garden. Um, and I would used to follow him while he was tilling the garden. Um, we used to grow corn and strawberries and carrots and different things like that. And I always really admired my dad. Um, he always worked so hard. Um, but you know, when I started dating, it made it really hard because my dad was such a great guy and he was such a hard worker that, um, I had a hard time with dating. Luckily, I finally met my husband who is a great guy. Um, and he can actually uh, <laughs> somewhat compare with my dad. He's still, you know, <laughs> as far as uh, being a hard worker and just being a great guy. Um, you know, when my six-year-old uh, was just a baby, my dad was diagnosed uh, with an advanced form of prostate cancer. And he went uh, through chemo, and he seemed to recover. Um, although his health was never the same, he was just never as strong as he used to be. And he had to quit working. And so he just couldn't do everything that he used to do, but he would never admit that. He still tries to work so hard. And um, a little over a year ago, he was diagnosed with bone cancer. They told him without treatment that um, he could live as much as two years. So he did go through treatment again. It was really hard on him. And now he has some um, really bad days. Um, he's having a hard time even walking now. He's using a walker and his health is really starting to go down. Uh, I know he won't be around forever and um, you know of course I already knew that but it's definitely been a big slap from reality. Um, something that we all have to face I guess with people that we love eventually. Um, so I try and enjoy every second I get with my dad. Um, I want him to know what a great influence he's been in my life. Um, and uh, now on to the other father. Um, figure. He's not my father figure, but he's my husband, and he's the father of my children. Um, I always like watching him uh, play with my kids. He uh, One day he was pitching uh, baseball to my six-year-old who loves to bat in the backyard, and it just always fills my heart with so much love to watch him interact with our sons. Um, I see their faces light up, and I know how much they... Uh, how much they admire him. Uh, my oldest is always telling me, when I grow up, people are gonna call me daddy. <laughs> I have to giggle at the thought. I know he'll be a wonderful father though because he has such a wonderful example to follow. Um, also my boys, they all think their dad is like the best at video games. So um, they're always wanting to play video games with him. And um, I mean, they really love it. And when I play video games with them, my six-year-old starts telling me how to play and what to do because, you know, mom's just not as good as daddy at video games. So um, I just wanted to touch on fathers. Um, like I said, I have a really wonderful father who um, unfortunately is not going to be around much longer. Um, but um, I just want to let everyone know how much he means to me and let all you fathers know how much you mean to your children. Um, so, you know, if you have a father that... Uh, is a good father, you know, let him know. Let him know how much uh, that means to you. And, you know, if you are a father, then um, just know that you mean a lot to your kids and it's important to be the best that you can be for them. Um, you know, turn off the game and go out and spend some time with the kids. Or heck, you know, my kids love playing games with my husband. They've been playing um, Kirby, um, the uh, Epic Yarn, I think it's called, with him a lot. and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, my uh, husband was complaining about uh, one part of the game where you have to like draw a track for this train and it's like, who made this dang game, you know? So then my six-year-old, every time he plays, now he's like, whoever made this damn game? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. So now he's uh, he learns how to, to cuss a little bit in the game because he hears daddy, so... Um, 
Um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah. Yeah, we definitely don't want him uh, <laughs> cursing, uh, cursing like that at school. Uh, we're not that bit, um, you know, I don't really worry that much about cussing and cursing and I think words are words and if you're cursing, you're or cussing, you're cussing regardless if you like substitute the words. So if you say dang instead of damn or whatever, it's it's just kind of silly to me. But of course other people don't find it silly so we have to uh, teach our kids, you know, that you really do need to watch what you say out of respect for other people, you know, so. Um, you know, back to fathers, I'm a uh, I'm going to go spend some time with my father. Every time I spend time with him, you know, I don't know if it's going to be the last time that I get to spend with him. So I just try and, uh, you know, focus on him and, you know, talk about old stories and old things about him that make me important, are, are important to me, I mean, sorry. And um, <laughs> when I was a teenager, my dad and I used to like to play jokes on each other and you know, like he would ask me to get him a drink and I would fill it right to the rim of the cup so that he would spill it all over himself when I took it from me. <laughs> like stuff like that. Yeah, I know that's not funny, but it was very funny. And um, my dad would laugh about it. So we had fun doing stuff like that. Of course, he didn't really do that too much to me because, you know, I'm his little girl. He's not going to do that to me, but I had fun doing that to him. <laughs> So my dad's, he's just, uh, he's a really mellow, easygoing guy. I think um, he's really, really like such a nice person. I totally know that um, I get my nice personness from him. <laughs> People are always telling me, man, you are so nice. So yeah, I, I am too nice sometimes, but um, I don't know. I, I get that from my dad and I just, um, I've always, um, I've always cared a lot about other people and um, I don't really care so much about what people, other people think of me, but I try not to hurt other people or be mean to other people generally. So that's just how I am. I'm just not a, a mean person. And um, I get that from my dad. He's just, he's this really nice guy. I remember, you know, he's always like smiling and saying hi to strangers. And I, I do the same thing. I just automatically do it. Like when I'm out walking, someone walks by, I smile and I say hi to them. And some people think I'm probably weird, but that's just how I am. Some people are like... I can tell it kind of makes them happy, and some people just like give me a dirty look, like, what? <laughs> but um, I get that from my dad, and I don't know. I'm, it's, it, I, I'm really having a hard time um, dealing with the reality, and uh, knowing that my dad is in so much pain because he's just such an amazing guy. But of course, he wouldn't let you know it because that's just how he is. He's He's always been so strong. I think he's the strongest person I know and the nicest person I know. And uh, he's also got the best sense of humor. He's just hes just a wonderful, wonderful man. So anyway, um, to all you fathers out there, um, you really do mean the world to your kids. And I'll catch you all later.